pills, you could, but you don't automatically get them now. Okay. Okay, then. Um, can one of you, two of you, three of you, I don't, I don't care, uh, tell me what you remember as far as who you guys are, any of that, where remember you came from? Remember who we are, where we came from? Basically, yeah. what happened I mean, last if you, week. If you want us. I mean, I can. I don't know about anyone else. Mm. Well, in theory, I remember just being knocked unconscious and next thing you know, arriving in town and being 2.5 gold uh, less less rich in my <laughs> pockets. <laughs> Last week was when we almost got our faces eaten off by gibberlings. Oh, yeah. Gibberlings. <laughs> by they NPC gibberlings. <laughs> <laughs> I remember throwing a scrotum. <laughs> Yes, watch where you throw those. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's really not something you forget. Didn't you roll a 20 on that, too? Yes, I did. <laughs> on the superfluous waking up my companions with scrotum roll. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Uh, we were coming from the south, I think, when it was like water deep. Maybe I'm wrong. No. I think water deep is north. Yeah, water deep is north of Alders Gate. There was a town south. I just don't yeah. know the name. Just south. That works. If you put up the map, I could probably figure out where it was. But yeah, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Just oh, you were just testing us. Well, it's as far as like <laughs> what you remember from last time. We got to town. They were taking up the gate or putting up the bridge or something, so we had to stay on the far side of the river. Mm-hmm. There's some kind of festival going on too, I think, right? Yeah, yeah we were trying to get there for a festival. Of some yeah, sort. that's also some kind of festival that starts today. Indeed it does. Uh, you guys decided sort of after he was gone that he would hired you and you guys were doing that spending his money yep. okay apparently that's all we're going to say about that <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a pretty good persuasion roll <laughs> I'm just not salting the wound hopefully it'll all go <laughs> over smoothly <laughs> we can just move on yeah. alright then Let's hope it'll work correctly for me. Now I'm hearing very quiet music. You're, you just got hacked. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the beginning stages of the disease, that's all. Uh, so I don't know who it was that was the last to wake up, but you guys basically get up and it's just all kinds of noise outside. Ding, 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 ding. Is it festive? Oh, extremely, yeah. <laughs> uh, even more traffic from the south has moved in while you guys were sleeping. And there are all kinds of bodies out there. Uh, pushing, All pushing their way north across the bridge, you know. Uh, Zod's probably the last one that wakes up and when he comes downstairs you can tell he is rather ornery about all this racket and the fact that he's getting up before the crack of noon (laughs) (laughs) anything before noon is early Bilburn stands up from the front foyer couch keeping the women in his arms and walks out and just stands off to one side just looking at all the commotion going on I've already been up for a while. I continue to eat the food. I already (laughs) would. Until they can tell us to leave, I'm just gonna. I've already, uh, you know, got my spells for the day and uh, 
had breakfast and just kind of waiting for every, waiting around for everybody else to show up and looking outside at the what's going on. Yeah, I'm kind of just sitting by the window, sipping some tea, watching watching the people. <laughs> Right. What do we see, by the way? Like, I know that you've given us a real, real brief, but what do we see? Yeah. Um, well, you're just uh, down here in this area, which, come on. Ping. So, I mean, basically, if you're anywhere near that main street, you're just seeing people push forward, just like... Like, forward as down the street, forward as towards the tavern? As north, across the bridge, into the city. Uh, Okay. Do they seem like to be in a festive mood? Yeah, they still do. <laughs> <laughs> no tragedy has befallen us. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is this festival? I'll ask uh, the boss there, uh, Mr. Pennybags. <laughs> what are we here for? Oh, you guys are done. I, I just needed to get here. Oh, we <laughs> thought you needed to get all the way into town. So. Oh, oh, this is good enough, but, you know, it seems like you guys do well enough, so might as well stick around. <laughs> <laughs> because you, uh, you're going to pay us more, <laughs> correct? Well, it depends on how well you can perform. And sorry, I haven't I, done this odd voice yet. Right. <clears throat> can you... <clears throat> it all depends. It all depends. I have an escrow set up in each of your names. As long as you don't die in the next. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down with the big word. <laughs> escrow. Die. <laughs> die. Don't worry. I, I know what escrow is. It's a. It's a. It's a food that they eat in the <laughs> southwestern part of uh, the Isles, and it is actually cooked snails. It's rather weird. I don't want my name. I'm more on concerned it. about the die part. <laughs> Well, I mean, they have to kill the animal in order to eat it. I doubt you'd want to eat it alive. That just seems weird. So, with my uh, criminal background, when I'm looking out on the streets, do I see evidence of pickpockets or anything? Miscreants? Uh, out this far, not too much, no. There's not much to steal out this far. <laughs> <laughs> you well, might, see, you might see, like, a little kid or two trying to, you know... Get a coin or some bread or something. <laughs> but as far as professional cut purses, no, nothing like no, nothing like that out this far. So if I were try to, going to try to convince Pity Bags that he needed to hire muscle to keep him from getting robbed, that would be a deception check. Let's do it. Let's do it. Then a uh, perception check, I guess. <laughs> so do I counter with my perception? <laughs> uh, four, well, have you have you ever go. been here before? I mean, aren't you Not the just rogue? Just a general sense of uh, cities and their lawlessness. Yeah, the Pennybag's only intent is to move from town to town as he decides to continue his gambling habits. Ah. Uh, let me see, Belena Crofter. Does anybody remember what the hell the uh, Inn was named? I had it written down on my notes, but that's on the computer that's crashed. <laughs> <laughs> it was something wizard. The red wizard, I think, or... Black... Shop. Wizard. Black trying, wizard? We're trying to uh, investigate who shot the food. <laughs> who shot the food? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who killed this duck, I mean? <laughs> so you're looking for the hunters uh, Valena Crofter the uh, six foot tall gnome <laughs> who runs the black oh, wizard right. <laughs> <laughs> says uh, regarding uh, returning day it's the day that Baldurian returned from uh, wherever the hell it was he went wherever the hell <laughs> yeah something something islands Hell Islands. <laughs> yes, Hell Islands. 
Anyway, he came back. He was all rich. He founded the city. He erected the great inner walls. And uh, turned Baldur's Gate from just a little village into an actual city with walls. It's a, it's a wonder what a little erection can do these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was centuries ago. It was a simpler time. What sort yes, of back then, oh, sorry, Erections did press a little bit more. I will concede to that. <laughs> oh, you know, speeches, fireworks, that kind of thing. Mostly Nobody just, an, out mostly just an excuse to drink, uh, what, purple beer? <laughs> and get extremely <laughs> drunk in public? <laughs> well, it's not going to be green. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, uh, he says the uh, the dukes themselves are going to be giving a speech in the wide about noon, midday. And how long? Uh, how long is it? Like out of character? How long is it till midday? Uh, it's about eight. You guys are hanging out there, so I'm going to say a couple eight. hours. <laughs> Wow, eight. Okay. Well, you guys don't exactly have digital watches. <laughs> I'm, saying, back to bed. I, I'm saying Penny Dex looks at, looks at Zod and it's like, you really up this early? <laughs> it is a shock to me as well. However, how could you sleep with such a conflagration occurring on the streets? Damn good Vietnicks. It's festive. Yes, festive. <laughs> More like fastidious. <laughs> Pennybags looks to his left and right, still holding the women in his arms. Who said anything about sleep? <laughs> yeah, well, some of us had a nap during yesterday day, didn't we? <laughs> oh, I'm very well refreshed this day. <laughs> I see you've gotten the dent out of your top head as well. <laughs> What dent? There was a dent? When did I have a dent? All, all I remember is you guys hauling me over hand by hand to the city. I took a nap. Next thing, woke up in the city. <laughs> and you don't remember what happened. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Nothing. 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 <laughs> of course, he doesn't see it. I assume it is the elf that's been up forever. <laughs> well, I guess technically one of them now? I'm a half elf. Probably elf enough for the humans around. Uh, <laughs> so we, we have an elf and a half elf? Uh, we have three half elves, right? Yeah. Pennybags is a half elf. So am I. Who else is an elf? Say or yourself in third party. <laughs> or just me. Everyone so we have elf, three half elf, half elf, elf elves, name. an elf, and then a tiefling? A tiefling, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This this is is that's elf. just how we roll. <laughs> Pointily. Uh, oh, yes. you've got four elves. Wait, three half elves, an a elf. drow, and Our a tiefling. Drow. Yeah. That's... Not unusual at all. <laughs> no, no, not at all. We're here for the <laughs> arboretums. <laughs> <laughs> Drower elves, too. I don't know. Them with their drow music. Now, if only our ages were different, it'd probably make up a, a good family composition. You got your pure elf and your tiefling from uh, human heritage. <laughs> yes, human. <laughs> and then you have three half elf <laughs> younglings. <laughs> uh, the friggin' gigantic a story <laughs> of an elf named Lyra. <laughs> Lyra. <laughs> Whatever. The gigantic gnome Lyra. says uh, on returning day, crowds are pretty thick, and he just gestures out, like, see? Uh, if you guys want to make it to the speeches, you should probably leave pretty soon. 
were these speeches usually about? I don't know. What are speeches ever about? Pennybag dives back into the tavern, picks up uh, his gear that he had left in his room, and brings back out. Looks like I'm ready to go! <laughs> so you want to hear these speeches? Is that it? <laughs> Not really, but it seems like that's the whole party plan. <laughs> Well, if you're going to come to town specifically for something like that. No. I didn't come here for that. <laughs> I came here because there's probably a lot of good chances to play some games of chance. <laughs> but might as well be in the festive mood. Might as well go and visit and see what all the hubbub's about. Mm. Sure. I came here for the uh, test subject. How about we all go oot in a boot? Eh? <laughs> and just shrugs and stands up. <laughs> Sounds good, boss. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I don't know, eh? I was wondering if maybe we could stick together. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently half-elves are Canadian. Good to know. I resent that. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hey. tiefling thing. They look really evil, but they're super nice. Super polite. <laughs> As opposed to American Southerners, which look really nice and polite, but are really evil underneath. <laughs> right, so you guys are going on out? Sure. Well, I'm following Penny Bags and hopes he needs yep. more of my services. Yeah, I, I plan to follow, and if I find that it's getting too hard for me to you know, like, push past people, I'm gonna cast some spells to make people get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> uh, if, if I was already level 3, I would've started mage-handing people out of the way. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh no, I just plan to use prestidigitation to make myself look like I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'll be bacon. behind. Zod. <laughs> Ew, Under Armour Bacon? Gross. <laughs> I've also got a backpack full of scrambled eggs. <laughs> Why? Because uh, that's how his character is. <laughs> because it's been a while since I've had real food. Oh, uh, well, no, we're, we are unsure if he actually has scrambled eggs in his backpack as of yet because he did make a check earlier. Oh, yeah. Confirm and confirm yeah. <laughs> to see if he was successfully able to pocket the eggs from the buffet. After after a few buffet. more hours in the sun, <laughs> it, it might be... be an easier check. <laughs> I was about to say, it has to be the buffet because it, it's the only reason he would use sleight of hand to try to, you know, steal something out of the, the all-you-can-eat buffet. Because <laughs> you know they hate you, like, taking stuff away from the buffet. He's got a yeah. lot of Speaking of someone that's been in the restaurant business for over a decade, <laughs> we really do. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah. He's got his little plastic bag next to his purse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Uh, as you guys walk up to the bridge, which it really is just like a high school classroom in between classes, it's just people crushed in together, all trying to make it somewhere. You know, just a general direction. And uh, as you Out approach, of character, I know what that means. In character, I do not. That's fine. I don't have to describe it in character. <laughs> in character, you can just see it. <laughs> and smell it, probably. As I say. Anyway, yeah, uh, as you approach this uh, worm's crossing here. Oop. Smells bacon. <laughs> <laughs> bacon and sweat. <laughs> yep, worm's crossing here. Uh, you see a man off to the uh, west who's just kind of... who's offering boat rides to the harbor for something like nine gold or something ridiculous. This is definitely not the right way to do this. <laughs> let, let us all be ferried across. <laughs> as long as you're paying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Penny bags dumps a, the nine gold straight in, and let's do this in luxury. Oh man! Okay. 
And nine gold is hot damn expensive for travels like that shit. <laughs> I, I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, let's do it! It's supposed to be that, I think. <laughs> shall I, uh, uh, shall I try to encourage him to give us a discount? With a yes. stern, evil look. Man, Rivington is just full of gnomes. Uh, That's this why one I stay away. is a lady gnome by the name of Benson. Benson? But oh. Let, let's see. For humor's sake, let's see if I can uh, incur- encourage. That was my intimidation. To, to be able to give us an extreme discount and actually give them seven silver instead of or uh, nine silver instead of nine gold. <laughs> right. Nice. Go. That that was a deception check. <laughs> oh, deception? Mine was just an intimidation stare. So. <laughs> I'm not sure which of those went first. I think the intimidation? Yeah, the intimidate. Well, of course the intimidation went first. I just stand over his shoulder and stare evilly. <laughs> and how did that other check? What happened there? Oh, the penny bags. He did a deception check, like I was saying. He, he, he decides to slip them seven silver that are coated in gold. <laughs> just happen to have this, that? This is... All right, uh, yeah, trust me. Be, uh, being the charlatan that I am. Being the charlatan that I am, I've got some tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Knowing the detail you went into in your character <laughs> sheet, I'm actually going to check. <laughs> Dive in. I know what you said, but that still sounds like Chinese. Oh, well, it could be Chinese. I win. Okay. You know that putting gold on top of silver coins is kind of really redundant because most coins aren't like pure gold or pure silver. They are some sort of metal or clay with the gold or silver or copper over top of it. So you literally just made normal gold coins, but also <laughs> cost silver as well. Nice. I was waiting for someone to actually mention <laughs> That's classic. It's like you spent more on the gold coins than normally. <laughs> Spence is shocked to hear that this is true. <sighs> well, I'm not bringing this up in character. Fuck that. This is all out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're, we're taking the ferry. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> do we get our special <laughs> mostly <laughs> elf rates? No, I don't think so. So the entire party just goes due west all of a sudden. While everyone's headed straight north, they just go due west and make their way straight for the the ferry. (laughs) Okay, so do you actually give her nine gold? Yes. Ah. I was just being humorous on the steel chips and all. Like I've said before, all this intimidation and all. She looks... Oh. Like, shakes her head and looks and almost asks seriously, but then catches herself and pockets the money and (laughs) buries all five of you under her rather tiny boat. (laughs) Not much more than, like, a dinghy. I want Zod to be at the front of the boat doing the, like, George Washington. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, ba da ba da ba da. Um, While we are on the boat, uh, how long do you think it'll take to get ferried over? Oh, that itself takes about 10 minutes. Takes about 40 minutes for her to find a spot on the docks to actually <laughs> let you guys <laughs> off. You wasn't even expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that, in that case, I'll have a chance to do some sleight of hand to try to get my money back. Eek! <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> nope. Nope. Drop more gold into her pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, let me see. It was about. Oh, he's failing to do that. I will try <laughs> it from the other direction. <laughs> we're, we're all like petting. We're petting her down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if she man. asks, just tell her it's been a long time since you've all seen a woman. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I, I'm going to imply that the nine, I thought the nine gold meant something special here. <laughs> <laughs> Happy ending, boat ride. Oh, I will assure her that I'm here to make sure my boss gets what he pays for. Yeah, the, I, I thought the sign said bang boat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, you're here to make sure he gets what, so you're like a backwards <laughs> pimp? <laughs> Kinda. You're like yeah. a, a pimp for the customer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's a John pimp that gets paid for it. <laughs> Alright, uh, she eventually finds a spot here in what they apparently call Brampton. Brampton. That's oddly... Modern I've name. been to Brampton. It's a shithole in real life, so I can just imagine what it would be like in the medieval times. <laughs> right. Uh, you see, she loses about three of the gold just getting a spot on the docks to let you guys off. <laughs> um, but as soon as you guys are off, she's back down river. It spent this sleight of hand actually pulled some of the rest of the gold? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> She's like got them all up in her badge and everything. She's like, I can rid of this. Shit. <laughs> you don't, you don't know where she's got them, but it's so oh, much secure. Me, I, know, I, I, I know the human body well, <laughs> but she is a gnome. Not, she does have a belt pouch. <laughs> a gnome with a fanny pack? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, we made quick work of getting into town. <laughs> well, almost, yeah. Um, you managed to avoid the uh, the toll at the gate of a few coppers. <laughs> but <laughs> uh. Anyway, now you're back in the crush of people. They're not all heading one direction. Well, a lot of them are. Yeah, no. I completely take back the thing I didn't completely say. Um, people are still heading, you know, north and west. Basically towards the uh, inner wall up there. So they're one directioners. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you would like to believe. They were actually just playing right by my job too, and like I work at a hotel, and like there were so many TV poppers there. <laughs> I am a believer. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you guys are just continuing on, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's inappropriate. Uh, let's skip until we get to the Basilisk Gate. Basically, uh, no, not the Basilisk. The Basilisk is the other. Never mind. Uh, basically, when you get north and west <laughs> far enough. Oh, wow. You're going to be running out of that pretty soon. Uh, basically, part of the uh, part of the crowd breaks off and heads west toward this gate. Whereas uh, the rest of them sort of head north-ish to this gate. I mean, they basically split evenly, so you're not going to really get an advantage either way. I don't know. Do you guys have a way that you're going? I think at this point we're all like thinking that we're following someone else. <laughs> I think we're so, just all going along with the crowd. Yeah, yeah they, they split. Half of them go west, half of them go north. Two different Whichever gates. Whichever one we pick, more the wealthy one. Will go faster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Give us some idea of, do we see any better well-to-do individuals heading in a certain direction? Well, actually, yeah. To the west, uh, towards this middle one. This middle one here is actually Baldur's Gate. 
And Let's the, head that way. The uh, and penny bag leads on. <laughs> yeah, the the few rich people who aren't already in there are trying to go through Baldur's Gate itself. The crown? Shit. No, it's supposed to be a D. Oh. Hey, hang on a second. I thought there, it was a commentary on the monarchy. There, there's this big of a crowd. Oh, yeah. They're, they're all jam-packed. Mm-hmm. I would totally like to do another um, sleight of hand check to try to pull some belt pouches and such. Hmm. Interesting. Please. Everyone's pushing. It's like a an arena game? Yeah, yeah, please. All right, give me a second. Ba -ba -ba. I, ba -ba -ba. I can roll. Want me to roll for my sleight of hand? Uh, yes. Sure. Great, we're in the city for not even two hours and we're going to end up in jail. <laughs> you know I'm going to crit fail, right? Oh, no, there we go. 50. 17? Hmm. Okay. You get a handful of eggs out of somebody's pocket. <laughs> 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 okay. Apparently, you pull out somebody's cowhide wallet. Huh. Ooh. Uh, first, of course, I'll space myself away from the mark before I flip it and take a look in. Yeah. A uh, few copper, a few silver. Amounts to, oh. amounts to, like, five silver total. So it's like oh, okay. three silver and then any, you know, 20 copper or something like that. However that works out. I'm marking it off. <laughs> oh, and besides the money, is there anything else? Identification. Is the wallet itself pretty nifty? It's made out of cowhide. If you like cows. I'm not implying that I like cow ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's some interesting stuff on this little like pickpocket list. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you just got a wallet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Um, hmm. Do they... They don't do that. Do they? Yes, yes, they do. Well, I... Is it, an, is it a nice cowhide wallet, at least? Nah. Not particularly. Um... You see, well dressed. Not uh, most. Most of the guards that you have seen have been uh, have had the tabard of the flaming fist, which I assume you guys would know what that is. I assume so. Uh, knowledge, not player knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about just you? Do you? You mean player knowledge? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay. They're basically one of the largest and most expensive mercenary companies in, like, the area. However you want to measure it. Part of the world. Gotcha. But they've uh, pretty exclusively been uh, engaged in policing Baldur's Gate. Which uh, says something about how much money actually moves through Baldur's Gate that they can afford to hire them as just police. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, you, you've seen a few of those heavily armored flaming fist types down in the, uh, well, basically since you've been in the city. Uh, at the gate, though, is a completely different group of guards. They're just sort of wearing dark blue uniforms and look <laughs> much, much better appointed, like, they make a point of looking much better appointed. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're taking, you know, a few <laughs> coppers toll from every single person that goes by, which would explain why the crowd is moving so freaking slow. <coughs> uh, we could get bad here. This uh, speech is so good, they're going to charge me to see it. Uh, it's just policy. Everyone who goes into the upper city gets charged. Okay. <laughs> so the city is so good that they charge us. Twice. 
<laughs> hey, I, I, I go I go ahead and spend it all. I, I go ahead and spend that silver five copper. <laughs> or that fifteen copper. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'll, uh, I'll, I'll burn see. that fifteen copper. Sure, sure. Uh, you pull it out of your cow hide wallet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Five, oh, times five. I, I actually make sure that the 15 copper is in the cowhide wallet and I it'd give them the entire wallet and I'm like, keep the change. Wouldn't it like, uh, <laughs> it was five silver total? Uh, no, you just said a couple of copper each, so I counted three copper each at 15 copper. No, it was uh, three silver, 20 copper, I think is how that works out. Because co- uh, yeah, copper as, is like as, pennies. And... As far as what I got, yes. Yeah. But I'm saying, so I'm down <coughs> to five copper because I just burnt 15 copper to pay for all of us to throw. Yeah. Because you said three copper each. Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actively keeping a toll on this. I'm three gold, nice. seven silver, five copper at the moment. Uh, so they let you in, <laughs> and uh, everybody seems to be going to this area here, which is uh, the wide. The wide. So. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the what? <clears throat> yeah. For the for those that uh, saw the original web series, the gamers, the shadow. <laughs> shadow. The shadow. The shadow. The shadow. <laughs> sure. Uh, I guess not. Not me. No. <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> Proceeding on. Uh, basically, what you see is uh, what's there is it's it's a. Uh, I don't know how big it is. Hold on, I can measure it though. You are here. Yeah. So like, eight hundred feet that, one way, six hundred feet. <laughs> it's about that by that. Yep, six hundred feet another way. Uh, just packed with all the people that you've seen go in this way the entire time. Uh, in the center is a statue of a, of a guy wearing sort of padded armor holding a hamster. <laughs> a space hamster? Ooh. Welcome to the space jam. Yep, big bald guy <laughs> holding a hamster. Oh, a legend. <laughs> Uh, let me Vince, see. Let's waste a moment to offer his respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few people do that. Uh, let me see. At like this end, they have erected a stage. Oh yes, erected. They erected an erected stage. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a few of the m- more expensively dressed people are sort of wandering around. There are also those. Dark blue guards. <coughs> I, I give Spence a look and and quickly flash him a sign that he may recognize, um, to say, "Hey, there's some healthy marks over here." Well, they're all up on stage, and <laughs> like a line of over a dozen of these guards surround the outside of the stage, like security at a concert, basically. Except they're armed. <laughs> anyway, uh, throughout uh, little places of the wide, our, our stalls are set up, selling like you know exotic fruits, hats, <laughs> souvenirs, food, that kind of thing. Are there any like stuffed booze that I could buy? Stuffed booze, space ham- stuffed space hamsters. Oh, boo. Of course. You know what? Why not? There's <laughs> just a there's just a little plush Minsk with a little boo in his hand. Looks like the <laughs> you, statue except in bright colors. You, you know in the uh next beta that they actually had an inebriation uh condition as well. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I saw that and I was, I was looking for it in the player's handbook. And I was like, no, they didn't keep it. Like, fuck. <laughs> I'm sure it would just say disadvantage or something. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh, you 
guys... Vince would definitely like to buy a boo if he can. Oh, yeah. Men's skin boo. It's just less than a silver, yeah. Oh, all right. Then I will... Less than a silver? Three How or four copper? copper, yeah. Miniature right. giant space hamster. Miniature no, giant I... space hamster. I shall add it to my sheet and subtract four copper. Anyway, uh, more people crowd in. You guys... Basically, it took you just about the right amount of time to get here. Go figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me see. Somebody do a roll. Perception roll. Ooh. Perception roll. Or yeah. Rather than somebody, everybody. <laughs> you want a perception roll? Here, have a perception roll. Perception. Why are there two numbers for that? In case he happened to have uh, advantage. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I did persuasion, uh, so that's only 11. It's not 15. Okay. Yeah, like I said, trying to roll off of the character sheet is bogus. Four. Who are we missing? Uh, me. It's just because my crap top sucks, so it's slow. Ah. So it was taking a, a while to load up the character sheet so I can actually take a look at what my reception is. Do you know what your wisdom is? I didn't know if I had it trained. Ah. I'll take this advantage on my perception because I'm looking at my boo. If you <laughs> <laughs> okay, so both Val and uh, Penny Bags there. You guys sort of see, you see a guy with a, a big scar through his right eye, but you guys are looking different directions, but you both seem to say, see the same guy with the same scarred over right eye. And it's, it's kind of weird. Everybody else is sort of in a real festive mood, you know, talking really loud to people they don't know, getting vaguely drunk. Or just acting vaguely drunk, but uh, these this guy that you see is is wearing like a dark cloak and like looking around, you know, giving the real obvious suspicion eye to everyone. <laughs> but uh, you just see him for a second, and then yeah, and then he's gone in, into the crowd. Ron Weasley turns to Harry Potter, and he, <laughs> and, and and both of them disguised as uh, <laughs> various other members uh, then Ron happens to say Scar! <laughs> Come on, Polymorph po Potion? <laughs> when I'm starting to turn back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no clue when it comes to Harry Potter because yeah. fuck that. Um, <laughs> it's not often that somebody can do a Deep so uh, cut so deep from Harry Potter that I don't know it, but I don't know that oh. one. Well, now I gotta defend myself. When they use the Polyjuice potion to be able to switch into uh, the two thugs, you know what I'm talking about? Well, it happened more than once. Yeah, I know, but when they turned into thugs, and then as they're starting to turn back, they had to, to hightail it out because. Right. Ron could see Harry's scar starting to form. I gotcha. Scar. Man, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, Sod's not going to really mention anything to anyone about the guy. I mean, he has no reason to bring it up. It doesn't seem like the guy's that out of place. Or was it like something like super obvious, like 80 shifty eyes, like, <laughs> kind of like. Exactly. It was that kind, but you just saw him for a second. <laughs> and uh, unknown to uh, the other one, I don't know your voice yet, sorry. <laughs> Which one are you? Are you Val or are you Money Bags? <laughs> money Bags, Penny Bags. No, and Penny Bags was not talking just then. Ah. That was Zod. Ah. I think yeah. we need to start talking in character. Yeah, really kind of. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Ooh. the other one, 
he saw the what appeared to be the exact same guy with the same scar and everything. Anyway, it appears, <laughs> it appears to be a guy over there with a scar, with a scar, and he stumbles over <laughs> his scar with a scar. <laughs> 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 Spence will slap you on the back thinking you're choking. <laughs> <laughs> you may have some stolen scrambled eggs. <laughs> okay, uh... Yeah, a small, yeah. A small flick of egg pops out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, saw he got the scar. Ooh, big deal, so did I. You don't see me bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... After about 20, 30 minutes of wandering around, uh, how close would you guys try to get to the stage? Would you? Oh, I'm like trying to get up there like I was one of the important people. <laughs> yeah. I want to get front row seats to this thing. Anybody else? Oh, I'm, I'm behind him, protecting him. Zod's staying back so he can potentially spot some willing ish test objects. Should the need arise? Yeah, I'm in the back too. Okay. I'll I'll stay near the back of the crowd because that's what I'm. Okay, yep. penny bags is up. I know you guys are gonna want me to use the tokens, but the tokens are way too big for this. Can you guys take the uh, the free hand thing and just make a dot wherever you guys are in the crowd? Because that entire triangle right there with the statue in the middle is the entire crowd, basically. Okay, and the statue is this thing that I'm about to Here. ping? Yeah. I'm about there. <laughs> That's and definitely I'm just a little behind him on the right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's about, I would say. Yeah, if you guys could just take the free end thing and make yourselves a dot. Exactly like that. Uh, what color are you, <laughs> penny bags? Purple? You're on yep. the statue? All right. <laughs> I'm right behind you. <laughs> I love the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We're drawing ego size, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Which one of these is... Which one of these is penny bags? I can't make out the color. Basically, he's the statue. <laughs> oh, really? Well, he looks like a bow tie on the statue. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to get to the front of the stage. Like, Oh, sorry, I thought the stage was the centerpiece. Never mind. No, no, Never mind. St stage is here. The, there's a stage erected in the northwest corner. <laughs> Bunch of well-dressed people there. And uh, somebody was there with him. I am. Hold on one second. There we go. <laughs> As he makes a little bitty mark. <laughs> oh, dab. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there's a size I can deal with. Okay, uh, I feel one, like I am. Two, three, four. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who are we missing here? Ah, okay. Let me see. So who's over here to the west? That's me. Okay, who 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 are you? Flint. Uh Amy? <laughs> The me? Amy? No, the me. Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Who's> God. <laughs> In a room full of male voices saying me doesn't help a lot. <laughs> At least not until we get to know each other's voices. Uh, Flint, right? Yep. Gotcha. Right there. Okay, so half elf ranger. Okay, so uh hold on. There's this box. The one time today I'm gonna get to use the uh flavor text from the actual module. So <gasps> Uh oh, we lost our Yay. rich guy. What? Your oh, he... thing is gone. Ah, oh. there you are. It's no, it's still there. Um, never gone. Yeah, so about 20, 30 minutes, more people pile in until it's just ridiculous. It's just absurd. And then uh, someone 
clearly dressed so ridiculous he could only be somebody's servant, walks up with uh, what appears to be a long brass Vuvuzela. But it is not. And uh, I'm tempted to try to slide a hand the Vuvuzela out of him. Well, he's, he's up on stage. He, he blows the horn a few times. And then, uh, let me see. And then the crowd starts cheering as bis people take the stage, basically. Uh, and it says, the light drizzle isn't dampening the festive mood. Apparently it's drizzling. Uh, emanating from the gawkers and hawkers of wares in the wide. Wow. A marketplace packed with people from all strata of society and stalls selling exotic Faerun goods. Uh, cheerful citizens tightly wreath the platform erected along the, <laughs> the white <laughs> northwest angle. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Uh, someone wearing an official's looking sash is speaking, but the crowd's noise mostly drowns out his words. Uh, moments later, the throng erupts in wild cheers as an older, surprisingly muscular looking man takes center stage. Uh, the ovation continues for minutes, just unabated. Uh, a nearby wizened female uh, eyes you with some amusement because apparently you guys are just staring forward looking like the uh, what? Because apparently <laughs> she attempts to explain. She says, uh, that there's Duke Adrian. And then wanders off as if that explains everything. Uh, <laughs> the Duke, smiling broadly, bows to the crowd and then gestures for quiet. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Which they do. Uh, da -da -da. The crowd obeys except for one person who shouts, We love you, Abdel. He's apparently very drunk. Uh, Duke responds, I love you too. And then... Uh, the crowd starts cheering again. And then does he rip off his shirt <laughs> and then flex? Well, naturally. And call people brother? <laughs> Isn't that what you do? Well, I mean, that's what I do when I'm publicly speaking, yeah, but I don't see what that is, you know, has to do with it. Uh, hold on. I actually found a picture of this guy. He looks uh. like that. Uh, but, uh, oh, I've zoomed out way too far. All right, one second. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, da -da. Uh, another wave of the speaker's hand silences the crowd, and then he turns purple. But only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for several minutes, the Duke keeps praise, or er, civic praise, on Baldurin. The founder of Baldur's Gate expounds on the virtues of shared opportunity and waxes poetic about the future. Um, as he talks, your attention basically starts to wander a little bit because, good God, that's dull. <laughs> Talking about stuff from a city you're not even a part of. And then from the south, for most of you, the south... Uh, and then he starts doing unspeakable things on stage. <laughs> it's finally gotten slightly more interesting. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> uh, for most of you, it comes from behind and from the left. It's just a deafening explosion. Uh, the uh, Zod is impressed by the pyro. The ranger would be the closest one to it. Like, how, how close is it, like? It's basically down here. And it's just a big explosion. Uh, you hear people screaming in pain. People start screaming and running the other direction. I... <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I start moving towards it, I guess. From <laughs> okay, so you start going toward the explosion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, 
Money, money, penny. <laughs> money, penny. <laughs> and, uh, oh, money, penny. Let's, money, let's money, penny. Up. Whoever Spence is. Spence was Gru, right? Yes. I okay. To you guys, right, actually, and to left, you see the robed guys start just stabbing folks, just stabbing them in the throat, and just killing and moving on and killing and moving on. The basically. guards? Uh, the guards start to move toward him, but the crowd is so thick it's taken them a second to get there. But basically... No, I mean, no, no. no. The, the, those robed figures that you saw earlier, you see one on your left and two on your right, and they're just like... They seem to be just trying to kill as many people as they can get to. Uh, meanwhile... The tiefling, and who else is that? Oh, the drow. Oh, the rest of the group. <laughs> the drow. Uh, you notice that to the southeast here, like this area, I can hear myself. Woo! Echo! Echo! Uh, you hear the, like an even bigger commotion. And just no explanation for that either. Uh, hold on. So are there like dead bodies all over the, the stage here? Uh, not on the stage. They're they're. Oh. Like brain us. <laughs> now somebody is leaving. Well, that was just spent. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, give me a second here. I have the tokens for this. Tokens are south, and of course, any damage you guys had yesterday is gone. Yep. But are there like dead bodies right in uh, front of me? Uh, which who uh, who are you? Penny bags, front stage. Yes. Like, to the right and to the left, those robed figures are just sort of knifing people and just moving on. Okay. Uh, I start looting the bodies. <laughs> That's a way to do it, I suppose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Nice one, Spence. Uh, he's the one that left. So I'm oh. going to use the bathroom. Oh, sorry, I'm back. I had to deal with my dog real quick. I apologize. Yeah, I still need to use the bathroom. Oh, all right, cool. Uh, oh, look, 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 look. I can roll my own initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, said wow. initiative. Do what? Do what? Uh, after you said roll his own, I thought... <laughs> I was glad that was followed by initiative. Ah. Um... I'm going to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. You guys know kind of what's going on, we'll right? Here. Is there yeah. any confusion? Nope. Yes. Cultist oh. to the left, cultist to the right, stuck in the middle with you. Sort of thing. Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. The rangers I mean... decided to move toward the explosion here. The, uh, the tiefling and the drow hear a big commotion from, like, the south. Do I notice yeah. the uh, guys in robes? Uh, which one are you? I'm the drow. Uh, yeah, but they're sort of way in front. They're a good five minutes pushing with the crowd as mm. thick as it is. Anyway, I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Dog didn't know it was an important moment. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, Jeff, you want to help clear the bodies with me? Yeah, I'm thinking I you know. <laughs> It's like, dude, uh, come on, we get, we got the skills, let's do the shit. <laughs> these guys aren't robbing these bodies, so. <laughs> yeah, they're, like he said, they're, you know, knifing them up and moving on. <laughs> totally, uh, like Russell Crowe, uh, Robin Hood, you know. <laughs> yeah, let's lose, let's lose the bodies. <laughs> Russell Crowe was Robin Hood? Or not who am I thinking of? Yes. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Russell Crowe. You, I don't yeah. recommend it, but it, it did happen. <laughs> and what... I've never heard of this Russell Crowe Robin Hood movie. I remember Kevin Costner as Robin Hood, but... 
It's just like, what? Uh, is, is this the same way that I don't remember there was an Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull? Or yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> if it was something I was actively trying to forget, such as Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, I would definitely mention that. Okay. Yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, 2010, yep. Yeah. yeah. Robin there Hood. we go. Copy. Oh, oh, yeah. And here, I have some sun. Have some more fun. <laughs> I think I probably put a mark in there. Yeah. No, I'm just surprised that he. From the director of Alien and Gladiator? Well, well, of course that director uses Crow in like everything he tries. Yeah. Okay, he's not Tim Burton, so yeah. let's calm our tits down. <laughs> oh, I w- my tits weren't raised up and firm, anyways. I, I didn't have my nipple blades out yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, when they regain the crown to return back to England, um, they were deciding to loot the bodies. So we're like, yeah dead bodies around we're heading back to england might as well loot the bodies that we just killed <laughs> okay i wonder if i can sorry you bud no it's all good ah um so would you like me to go uh spence i would so uh... Just before, yeah. I want to point out that it's impossible for my initiative to be one. Yeah. That and I'm not in your initiative little roll check thing, my Bobby. Who are you? Uh, uh, Val Penny bags. is. Ugh. P- Penny Bags is MIA. Oh, I thought he was just here. Oh, no. Penny oh, Bags I, in yeah. the initiative order is MIA. Oh, good grief. Uh, good grief indeed. Indeed. <laughs> All uh, the effrontery of it. Okay, well, it wouldn't. Initiatives. Three. I guess that would do it. There we go. Let's try this again. Anybody who didn't like their rolls? Ah, here we I go, here we go, here we go. Stroke of good luck. <laughs> pew pew. Hey, I'll take it. Woo! <laughs> One better than what I would have gotten. <laughs> Can I put my... Uh, I, I'm, I'm still not in the initiative. You're a coin person, aren't you? Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta re-roll that. <laughs> False roll. Right. Plus so how, how how in the hell did I I can't get a three? I my I have a plus three to my initiative. How would I how would I get a little three? You rolled a zero. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What are you talking I don't, about? I didn't roll. The roll was a three. <laughs> no, I have a uh, plus three to my initiative roll because uh-huh. of my decks. Have you actually decks looked at the tracker? At what tracker? Okay, maybe you should look at the tracker. <laughs> tracker? Look at the turn order. You got a six in the turn order. Oh, uh, okay. So I was just rolling. I, I was just looking over in the roll of the... Gotcha. Never mind. Okay, so now it is uh, the man it's all the who, cultist. Oh, the flint. who runs to uh, toward the explosions. But it was like all the same cultists, right? There's like no, nobody looks looks leaderish. <laughs> uh, not from the people you've seen. Uh, Flint. All right, I will attack. Uh, let's see that. I'll attack this guy right here with my longbow. Eighteen. Okay, uh, as far as which of these people that you're actually attacking? This one right here. Not referencing the tokens. I'm talking about where you guys actually are up here. Oh, okay. Because where you are is sort of isolated from almost everything. 
Oh, okay. So where are the, where are the cults is up, up by the stage, you said, right? Uh, yeah, there are a few up here. Um, there was an explosion down here, which last I heard you were running towards, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what do I see when I get down there? Uh, well, you push your way forward, and what you notice is more from this way. Uh, from the explosion itself, you s don't see anything that you wouldn't expect. You know, people burned and screaming, people just screaming because there was an explosion. Uh, you know, a fire sort of burning. But uh, from your left, you see... Uh, well, you see one of the cloaked guys, but only for a split second. After that, you just see what looks like just regular people. Just like with daggers and just punching each other. and Basically, <laughs> the, it looks like the crowd to the east yeah. of you is just lost their minds. Oh, and um, so Spence and I are actually like looting the bodies that have been dropped, the wealthy ones. Uh, okay. So like, yeah, I, I concur. <laughs> I was gonna sort of flank around behind where they're killing and like, and then like, you know, after they killed someone. <laughs> uh, Flint, you see a flash of cloak and then just people losing their shit. I'll run towards like the flash of the cloak and wherever I saw it in that general direction. Okay. So you push your way through that. He's basically just gonna keep slashing throats. No, what the guy that I saw? Uh, no, no. Uh, the, one of the guys at the front. Okay. The, uh, the one of the ones to the right. Could you, like, make just little marks sort of vaguely where they are so I have more Yeah, sense. yeah. Uh, let me see. You've seen two black cloaks over here. You've seen one over here. Uh, let me see. Flint has seen one down here. Where is these here's back on the map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the tokens are the tokens. literally Down just by. for the turn order. Okay. There we go. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, Flint, you see one of the cloaks sort of take off southward. Okay. So you've seen one that was sort of more eastward, and you see one that's sort of making his way south. To the right of Money Penny. No, no, that's left. God, why do I keep saying the opposite of the thing that I'm thinking? <laughs> anyway, uh, left. That guy just keeps stabbing. Uh, I need to look up from my notes. Hold on. I need to know what we're finding on the bodies. These are uh, the wealthy ones it's, that were like up on the stage, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I could either tell you some money now, or I could think of something slightly more interesting oh. later on. I like the interesting bits. <laughs> as, long, as long as you give us the the fact that you know the acknowledgement that that's that it's occurring, that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm gonna go up and like look like I'm like trying to aid someone. That's oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh and yeah. While I'm doing that, I'm like you know taking their money. Okay. Oh, or sure. pouches or wallets or whatever. If one of these guys comes at me, I'm gonna engage him. You know, for my own protection. Um, you see. Anyone ask you're looking for their life alert bracelet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this man's fallen and he can't get up. Uh, the one. Okay, Flint, this is you again. Basically, you see one within 15 feet of you. Okay. It's just one of these red, uh, black robed guy. Zzz. Uh, another guy to the right just keeps slashing throats. And now it's a Spence. So, again, if they come like they're going to engage with me, I will engage with them. Otherwise, I'm looping around behind them and, uh, in quotes, 
giving aid to those that have fallen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Tiefling. Well, Zod has been out in the boonies for many years, so he doesn't really know much when it comes to, like, celebrations or anything like that. So he thinks this is actually all part of the show, (laughs) and he's just impressed. He's like, wow, these guys are really into this. They're really committing to this. So he's just going to watch because, I mean, like, he he honestly thinks, like, this is part of the, the festival we're not breaking your game, are we? <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. You... Right. I mean, obviously, if he's going to just keep an eye out, and if someone does like end up you know, coming at him, he will turn to him. But, I mean, for now, he honestly just thinks that like this is... He's like, wow, these, these people have really weird traditions, but, I mean, this is really committed. <coughs> yeah, makes sense. I mean, seeing as how the entire south end of the crowd is, like, in on the killing, makes sense to me. Uh, Money Penny is looting bodies. Oh, of course. As long as I'm not uh, gaining any aggro from either the guards or the uh, assassins. Uh, the guards are kind of pushing their way through. I think. No, round one. No, they're still just kind of trying to push their way through the crowds. 